Mm, good morning, good afternoon. Hope all is great wherever you are. May you be happy and well-educated. Let's get into it today. We're looking at Onshape 3D modeling software. This is kind of a starter video here. We're gonna make some basic shapes. We're gonna look at volume and surface area. Uh, we're gonna make a cylinder, a cone, and I'm gonna give you some hints for the rectangular solid and sphere. Okay, oh, let's get into it here. You can see I've run a Google search for Onshape, right here, Onshape product development platform. And then right here, they have this option to uh, find the educational plan. If you click on that, uh, you can see it brings you to this page right here. You can sign up easily. I'm gonna come up here and click sign in. And uh, here we go. I'm all actually pre-signed in uh, because I was just working on it recently. So anyways, here we go. This is what it looks like once you're into Onshape. Uh, now we're gonna come up here to the upper left and we're going to create a new document here. And let's call this uh, cylinder plus cone. And uh, we'll click okay here. All right, and here we are. Cylinder cone, it's loading. And you can see our 3D modeling environment. You can see the uh, watermark right here, created by an education subscriber. <clears throat> so let's see, This, these are our planes. We have the front back plane, top bottom. Oh, okay, there's the top bottom plane and the left right plane. Three dimensions, right, 3D modeling. You got three planes to work with. You can also come over here, this is called the browser and you can find those planes and you can select those planes too. And uh, we'll unselect them here. here. There's the origin, you can find and select the origin. So anyways, there we go. Let's get started. Our first goal is to draw a cylinder. Okay, now uh, if we think about a cylinder, probably the easiest way to do it is to draw a circle flat and then to bring it up like that. That's called extruding a circle. So we're gonna draw a circle and then extrude it upwards so let's see, let's click on this sketch button right here in the upper left-hand corner, the sketch button. And uh, we'll click on the top uh, plane right here. Now, if you're having trouble clicking on the top plane, you can always click right here on top. And uh, there we go, you can see it starts our sketch. And it also creates that new sketch for us here in the browser. We have this dialog box here open, which indicates that the sketch is sort of active, right? Like that's the one that we're working on. So, okay, so here we go. Now, this isn't the best view probably for sketching. This is kind of a 3D view, uh, but let's come over here to the view cube and you can see we can grab any kind of view we want. We can rotate, we can come back, we can go left, right, right? We can click this a bunch of times. We can kind of get totally lost in space, right? But we can always come back right here to the, uh, to this right here and we can click on isometric and that will bring us right back to our top front right. We can click on the corner of the view cube. That's actually the original view we had, just a slightly off center isometric view right there. And ultimately probably the way we want to look at it is by looking at the top view right here. Okay, so there we go, our top view. And we're going to draw a circle right here. And I'm gonna make sure to put the center point at the origin. It's kind of a good habit to sort of think about like, okay, where am I creating this in space? So, okay, let's draw a, a good size cylinder. Maybe let's go with that. Okay, so it our diameter right now is 5.663 inches. Now, I want to work in this document in centimeters since we're, we're, we're trying to create something that's eight liters or 8,000 centimeters cubed. Let's come over here and uh, let's go to workspace units right here. Let's choose the units and then we'll just change that default unit length to centimeter. Okay. So there we go, click the green check mark right here. The document menu, you click on it, right? Workspace units, change them to centimeters, okay. And away we go. Now let's, uh, <clears throat> you can see that changing the units actually deactivated our sketch, right? So we have no more dialog box. And now I was right here about to like look for my sketch tools and I noticed all the sketch tools turned into 3D modeling tools. So that's okay, not to worry. We'll just double click on it and there we go, the sketch is now active again, and it's ready to go. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's click right here on the dimension tool, and let's set the diameter of this 
of this um, circle. So here we go, 14 centimeters. Now I think I did this earlier. Let's go up to 20 and uh, see what happens there. Okay, so we have a circle diameter of 20 centimeters. I clicked right here on the corner of the view cube to go back to our three dimensional view. And uh, let's click check there. And uh, let's see, let's click on this button right here uh, to extrude our circle. Let's click right here on extrude. We're gonna click on the circle and 2.5 centimeters is the default. Let's go up to 20 there as well and see what that looks like. Okay, so let's see. Again, we'll click on that to zoom out a little bit. And uh, there we go, we've made a simple cylinder. Now let's check the volume and surface area of this. So let's click on part one right here. You can see it highlights in yellow. And this little, actually I should be doing this right now. Okay, and you can see this little um, mass properties thing pops up right here. Let's click on that. And uh, here we go. You can see now my volume is 6,283 centimeters cubed. I wanna get up to 8,000, so I'm gonna need to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so then there's the surface area right there. Okay, sounds good. Uh, all right, let's close this and let's go to sketch one and let's increase our diameter just a little. Let's go from 20 to 24. Okay, uh, I'll click okay. All right, there we go, it got a little bit bigger. Let's check our mass properties again. Now we're at 9,000, so we went a little bit too big. Let's try 23 and see what happens. Double click on sketch one, change this, double click on that, change that to 23. Click the green check mark and uh, part one, oops, too many double clicks. Okay, part one is now 8,309. So we're getting pretty close. This is probably okay for our purposes here, but you know what, I'm gonna make it just a little bit better. I'm gonna try 22.8. Okay, and let's see. Now we're at 8,165. So I'm gonna call it good there. If you wanna further perfect it, that would be great. Uh, you can just kind of, you know, use that adjustment technique where you just go down a little bit, and then if you go too far, you go up a little bit, right? You can figure that out. Uh, or you could even use the formula, have a way more fun, and solve for whatever you need the radius, diameter, or height to be. Uh, so anyways, okay, there's our volume. There you can see our surface area right there. So that's kind of the information we need. Okay, so there we've made our cylinder. Now I uh, promised we would make a cone as well. Now probably the easiest thing to do, to be honest, is to just start a new document. If you go right here, you click on the on shape logo here, It'll take you back to your documents menu and uh, you can just create a new document. But I'm gonna just keep working in the same one. This is probably not the best practice, but I'm gonna do it um, just so we can learn a few other things too. Uh, so anyways, let's see. So when I make this cone now, I'm gonna take a slightly different approach. I'm not going to um, create like something and extrude it. I'm actually going to make a triangle and then I'm going to revolve it. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're gonna, again, start with a sketch. And this time I'm actually not going to sketch on the top plane. I'm gonna choose the front plane right there. Yes, okay, there we go. So you can see we created sketch two now and we can actually rename sketch two if we want. Uh, so we'll, maybe we'll, let's do that. Let's say cone, let's, let's just say cone. Okay, perfect. All right, so there we go. So we have sketch one, right? And we have cone and now, oops, I deactivated it. It's okay, we'll double click right here and we're uh, sketching on the cone. So let's grab our front view right here. Now I'm gonna zoom out just a little. Now zooming out you can do by just two finger moving up and down the trackpad, I believe at least that's how it is on my computer. And if you wanna zoom in on a different area, right, you can zoom in by putting the mouse there. So I zoom out, right, I move my two fingers up the keypad, then I move my mouse wherever I wanna zoom in, then I zoom in, right? So I can zoom in, zoom out, I can kinda of move around and navigate, the thing, right, if you ever get lost, like, uh oh, where did it go? You can always click right up here on the triangle. It brings it back into view for you, right? And you're kind of back to the beginning. So let's see, let's come over here and we're going to draw ourselves a triangle using the line tool. 
So I'm gonna grab this line tool right here. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm, I'm gonna not click anything here. I'm just gonna find that origin point so that I can keep everything lined up with the origin point. So now you'll notice when I draw, when I drag over, I can find this, it's called a construction line. And that tells me when I'm right there on the origin and it kind of snaps to the origin. Let's go ahead here, let's make sure to give ourselves enough space and we'll draw the base of the cone here. I'm gonna go, let's go with a uh, 19, let's go 19 centimeters. Okay, now it wants to keep drawing lines from here and I can do that, but I think I'm actually gonna hit escape and redraw the line tool. And I'm gonna go up here. Now I kind of find that this is in the way, so I'm just gonna click and move that out of the way. Okay, now you can see it snaps to a 90 degree angle if you're careful. I want it to do that. And let's see, I want this to be about similar height to the uh, cylinder that we just drew. Okay, so let's try that and uh, let's connect them right there. Okay, we can move this over here now again. Uh, okay, so it looks pretty good there. Let's click the green check mark and um, let's go back and view everything in 3D. Okay, so we have our cylinder in 3D and we have our 2D triangle here. So now last time we chose the extrude button, this time we're gonna choose the revolve button. Okay, so revolving's a little bit different uh, and we have this menu. We, now we have options to new. So can, do we wanna create a new part? Do we wanna add on to our existing part? Do we want to remove something? So you can actually like, you can do a cut extrude where you draw something on a surface and then cut it. Or do we want to do an intersect, which is kind of like joining, well, it, you know what, let's, let's not even get into that. Let's go right here. We want to create a new part right here. We're going to click on our sketch, similar to what we did with the circle. Now we're going to choose this revolve axis button. Now check it out. I'm going to click on this right here. And there we go. Now uh, I can play with this a little bit and it's kind of fun. If I choose uh, if I choose one direction, I can actually like watch the cone being built in real time. It's a little bit slow, but you can kind of drag it around and watch it being built depending on how fast your computer and your internet connection is. Right there, I can get my full 360 or I could build like half a cone, three quarters of a cone. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to play with that and like you can really visualize the cone being built and being revolved from that triangle. So we'll go for a full 360 degree. We can also just choose full right here. No problem there. And uh, okay, there it is. We got our cone. Uh, so let's click the check mark and let's check the statistics of the cone here. Not the statistics, but the facts. The uh, <clears throat> right here, and let's see, oh, we did pretty good. We got 7,762, so we could probably just call that there, but let's try to get to 8,000. Let's just make one, let's make some minor adjustments here. I'm gonna make the cone a little bit taller. So right here we have 20.5, let's go 21.5. See what that does for us. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so again, clicking part two, not part one, right? That's our cylinder. We don't want part one. We just want part two. Let's come over here and click now. Oh, wow. Okay, so that that took us way too big. So let's fix that. Interesting. Okay, the cone. So 21.5 is too big. Let's go with just, let's go with 21 and see what that does for us. I feel like maybe uh, this, that could be interesting. Okay, anyways. Oh, calculating 8,322, again, a little bit too big. Let's change our cone again. All right, 21. Now I'm gonna actually put a dimension on here and I'm not gonna change it. Well, I will, let's just go with 19, oops, 19.5. All right, and if you ever make a mistake and need to use the back button, it's right there for you. Okay, now let's change this, shrink that down to 20. Point Eight. Okay, now let's see how this goes here. Let's see if we can get it pretty close. All right, 8,282, still a little bit too big. All right, this is hopefully not getting too annoying here, but let's try 20.6. Okay, again, probably I have a feeling it's gonna be a little too big, but we'll probably just go with it uh, anyways. Okay, 8,202. All right, I'm gonna stop adjusting it and messing with it there. Don't want the video to get too long. There we go, we've made ourselves a cone and a cylinder. I think actually it'll be fine making the, um, 
making the rectangular solid, that one's pretty straightforward, but making the cylinder or making the sphere is a little bit tricky. I'm gonna show you a tool that you're probably gonna wanna use to make yourselves the sphere. So we're gonna actually start a new sketch and I'm not gonna make the whole sphere. I'm gonna leave that one uh, as a challenge, but I will show you this tool right here, uh, the arc tool. Now there's a, a variety of arcs that you can use, three point arc, tangent arc, center point arc, and conic arc. Uh, the three point arc works pretty good. It re it's a three point arc, so it requires three clicks. The starting point, the ending point, and the radius, right? And you can make that radius either direction. Ah, okay, let's go back, let's make another one. Okay, we can set our starting point, our ending point, and our radius. So, okay, there we go. Uh, let's, let's call it there, good luck. Have fun. Thanks for watching.